Alrighty guys, as promised, I am bringing you the Mac Pro hardware upgrade video. I finally got most of the parts that I need to go ahead and ball this thing out, and so I figured I'm going to go ahead and start doing that today. So, I had mentioned in the original video that I had plans to upgrade some parts in my Mac Pro 4.1, which I just recently got, and today we're going to be going over those and doing some. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and look at what we got here. Of course, I had mentioned in the last video that I was going to upgrade the CPU. So here we have an Intel Xeon X5680. This is the second fastest CPU that this thing supports after being flashed to the 5.1 firmware. As you can see there, it's running at 3.33 gigahertz. This is a six core, 12 thread CPU with 12 megabytes of cache. So that should be pretty darn nice because as of right now, this has the base uh, Xeon W3520, which is a four core. So this should be a pretty nice upgrade. And also we have this graphics card here. This is an AMD Radeon RX 580. This is pretty much the same graphics card that they sell in the base 2019 Mac Pro. Should be pretty decent performance, and of course this card wasn't that much money, so it was a good fit for this machine. Also because it's supported natively, being that it's, again, sold in the new Mac Pro, so that's cool. And then of course I just have a couple of adapter cables here to get the Mac Pro's uh, mini PCIe down to two six pin regular and then another adapter cable to go to a normal eight pin which is what this RX 580 will need to supply the proper power. Now there's a third thing that I also had on the way which was a 32 gigabyte RAM kit. This isn't going to matter for you guys because obviously with the magic of video editing you won't be able to tell. So without further ado I think I'm going to start with the graphics card because that's literally less than five minutes to go ahead and put that in there and then we'll move on to the CPU. All right, so the video card upgrade is pretty simple. Mac Pros are pretty easy to work on. All we have to do is hit this button to go ahead and unlock it. I've already unplugged the six pin here, which we're gonna be reusing, of course. And then you just have to remove these two thumb screws to go ahead and pull the card out. All right, we can go ahead and remove the card. So, here we are. She comes right out. As you can see, this Mac Pro card has this nice little uh, extension thingamabob on it, but it's not necessary. We're just going to obviously put the 580 in now. So, of course I got a couple of cables hanging off the back, but now I'm just going to slide the new guy in. That should be it. Go ahead and lock it in place. Now that ought to do it. So now, just need to go ahead and plug this six pin in here. Okay, she's in. Go ahead and tuck some of these cables back in there. Make sure everything's connected. And our graphics card upgrade is pretty much complete. All right, so now with our graphics card upgrade out of the way, we can go ahead and turn our attention to the CPU. Now the 2010 Mac Pros are pretty nice. Well, this being an 09, so I guess the 09 and up Mac Pros are pretty nice in that the CPU and the RAM is on a daughter card that just comes out just like that. So you can go ahead and pull the entire assembly out. And as you can see, we have our heat sink and our RAM slots there. So one thing to note with this is you actually do need a special tool. Well, kind of, this is just a three millimeter hex bit. And it does need to be long enough to remove the captive screws that hold the heat sink on. But other than that, it's fairly straightforward. Doing this is kind of a little bit tedious because there's a fan connector built in to the heat sink because there's a fan inside. So you do want to be very careful removing and installing it. But uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that now. All right, as you can see, we got the heat sink off. I've already prepared the contact surface here on the heat pipes. Now you may notice that there is a thermal sensor right here. You wanna be careful around this, not to damage it. And there was that fan connector I was talking about for that fan over there. But now that that's prepared, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the CPU. This is LGA 1366 as it is a Xeon. So it should be pretty simple to remove. Let's go ahead and just undo this little latch. Very simple. It's like any other Intel CPU pretty much. Just go ahead and pop that guy open. And then we will go ahead and remove the W3520. So there is our old CPU. 
And then we can go ahead and put in our new one, our new six core, making sure to line up those tabs from before, drop it right in. Again, make sure nice and situated. Then we'll go ahead and put this latch back down. And that's literally it. Go ahead and put our thermal paste on, and then I can put the cooler back on. Quick note for those of you that have 2009 dual processor models, the 09 dual CPU ones for some reason came with delitted CPUs and so they wouldn't have the integrated heat spreader like this. And so if you're upgrading the CPU in one of those, then you have to find pre-delitted CPUs or else you'll damage the heatsink and can do a lot of damage to the computer. Thankfully, the single processor models like this one are standard, you know, lidded CPUs, so you don't have to do any extra digging for that, but that's just something I felt I needed to point out for those of you who are trying to do this to a dual CPU model. And last but not least, we have our 32 gig RAM kit. So let's go ahead and pop these babies in. And there we are. Without further ado, we can go ahead and slide this board back into the machine now that the CPU has been installed. Again, pretty simple. Let's slide it back in, close these, and bam. All right, well, moment of truth, guys. Let's see if she boots. Of course, we're not gonna get a boot screen because of the RX 580, but hoping that everything goes smoothly. Aha, we got a bong, sweet. There we are. All right, fellas, let's go ahead and take a look at our fully upgraded Mac Pro. I've taken the liberty of already upgrading it to Mojave. Did that shortly after we got the graphics card in. So now the complete computer is finished. Let's go ahead and take a look at our specs here. So as you can see, we have our early 2009 MacBook Pro. We now have that nice six core 3.33 gigahertz Xeon X5680. We now have 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Now this RAM is supposed to be 1333, and I was told that once we did the flash and put the new CPU in, that it would support running at 1333. So that's kind of interesting, but I mean, even if it is still 1066, it's still decent enough. And of course, you know, it's four times as much, so that's great. We have our SSD that we just put in and the RX 580. So now, obviously, this thing is quite a bit more powerful than it used to be, and it's also running Mojave, which is the second latest version of OS X. And there she sits in her finished form. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this upgrade video, and I will catch y'all in the next one.